Okay, Mr. Porzingis, this is your postseason therapy session. I'm going to talk some stuff out with you. I'm going to gauge how you feel about certain topics, okay? Does that sound good? Yes, sounds good. You're 7'3", correct? Yes, I'm 7'3". Very cool being this tall. All right. Uh, how, how do you feel about weak side blocks? I, I like those. I, yeah, I, I'm good at those. Okay, uh, 35 foot threes. Ooh, I love that. I love that. What about posting up 6'3 guards? Um, that made me feel something weird. I'm not going to lie to you. It made me feel something kind of strange in my chest area. Okay, this is what I thought. All right, I'm going to show you a few pictures, and I want you to tell me how you feel about them. All right, let's start with this one. Oh, I'm supposed to post him up? Okay, it's, it's all right. All right, I got another one for you right here. Oh my God, no, please stop. I, ca I can't, I can't do that. I can't. One more. Oh no, no, I can't post him up. I'm only, I'm only one foot and two inches taller than him. Yeah, just as I suspected. He hasn't changed at all. Please don't make me he do it. Please. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go again. Are the Boston Celtics doing it again? They lose game two at home to the Miami Heat, 111-101. No Jimmy Butler, remember that. And of course, PTSD is striking everybody in the Boston, Massachusetts area. Going into this game, the Celtics were minus 50,000 to win this series. Minus 50,000. Do you know what that means? You'd have to bet $50,000 to win 100. Okay, if you made that bet, not only are you sweating right now, but you're also a fucking idiot. And please just, just, I'll put my Venmo in the description. Just Venmo me your money. Okay, there's, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. And I've seen a billion think pieces about this game. Well, the Celtics aren't going to do this. The Celtics aren't going to do that. Kevin O'Connor went on Twitter and said that the Celtics are going to get swept by the Denver Nuggets if they met in the finals. I still think the Celtics should very easily come out of the Eastern Conference. I thought going into the playoffs that they should only lose three games max in the East. Well, here's one of them, and I'm not so sure anymore. The Heat did shoot 53% from deep. Like, I, I, we have to start there. The Heat shot 53% from deep. Now, you're probably not going to see that too often. Well, actually, maybe you will shoot 50% from three again if you're the Miami Heat and you're playing the Boston Celtics. Miami now has four playoff games in the past two seasons with 50% shooting from three against Boston. No other team has more than one. Congratulations, Boston Celtics fans. You got got again. And Caleb Martin, who has looked nothing like his Eastern Conference self at any point during this season. How about 21 points, 7 of 12 from the field, 5 of 6 from deep. Look at this stat right here. Caleb Martin, three-point playoff career versus Boston, 48% versus every other team, 32%. If we just go to Caleb Martin's career game logs in the postseason and sort by game score, a stat that I don't even think is necessarily good, but still gives you a pretty good idea of just how much this fucking guy owns the Boston Celtics. Seven of his top, five of his top seven postseason games in his career are all against the Celtics. Six of his top nine, if we want to go that far, seven of his top 10 all against the Boston Celtics. He hates this. He hates these guys. He hates the city of Boston. Let's just get into what the hell the Heat had going on here. Look at look at how active they are defensively. Look at everybody flying around the floor and then size and length. And that's uh, a make for Tatum. But look how hard the Celtics had to work. And this would be sort of how the entire game goes along. And, and good defense here by Jovic. And we're going to talk about him because he had himself quite a performance. 11 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 or 5 from the field including a steal and three, three steals and one block. Speaking of that guy, here's Jovic, corner three, assist from Tyler Hero, who had 14 assists. We'll talk about him here in a bit, but this is some of the best Tyler Hero's ever looked as a playmaker. Him and Bam's connection was on fire in this game. And here we fucking go. Chris Dabbs Porzingis had himself an awful game, and I see Boston Celtics fans all over uh, the social media sphere very upset by him and Mavericks fans, you know, we're just sitting back. We're not laughing because that sounds a little bit mean, but we are giggling. Okay. That's because we've heard all year how, oh, KP can do this. And he was held back here. Chris has Porzingis in this game, six points on one of nine shooting, including one of five on twos and oh of four on threes. And it was the classic Chris Taps Porzingis in the postseason experience. Chris Taps Porzingis, you have Tyler Hero on you. Please score. Please. Please. Chris Dabbs Porzingis, you have Tyler Hero on you. Please score. Please. Can we maybe get a better look than just this turnaround? I know he's, he's the most efficient post-up player in the league. I don't give a shit, man. I've seen this play out throughout his entire career in the postseason. It's just some. I don't know what it is. It has to be better. 
Chris Tavis Porzingis, you're posting up Tyler Hero, man. That should not be that difficult. It just shouldn't. Chris Tavis Porzingis, go to work, man. Seal his ass off. Play like a big. All right, you kick out. That's fine. Let's go. I'm getting flashbacks, man, and it's making me sick. Great stuff from Bam Adebayo in this game, who had 21 points, 10 rebounds, 9 of 13 from the field. He went 9 of 12, 75% on twos. Woo, where the hell are you going, Jalen Brown? Woo, Bam out of Bryant. Oh! In the Heat's defense, man, it's just, when they're all connected, it really is just so beautiful to watch. Good dig right there by Bam, and then how about Jovic with the contest? Again, this Jovic guy playing some defense. If your name rhymes with Jokic, you should be getting drafted. I don't care if you've never played basketball in your life. If you're eligible for the draft, enter it. A GM will draft you. But Jovic, obviously, second-year guy. Didn't play much as, as a rookie, but toolsy. He's big. He's lengthy. He's smart. He's skilled. And he's really put together a nice season, especially towards the end of it. And uh, he had a great game in this one, man. He had a great game, just doing a whole lot of everything. Again, right here, he's using that length and that size. Break up that pass. I mean, it's not a very good pass, but still, we get the steal. And look at this ball just fly around for the Miami Heat, man. Look at the ball movement. Yep. 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 Jaquez, step into it. Jame Jaquez, who didn't shoot well from three, especially in the back half of the season. Three of six from three in this game. One of seven from two. But that just goes to show how the Celtics just are, are cursed against this, uh, this Heat team. Just goes to show. More Jovic defense? Look at him stick, stick on Derek White here. Nothing easy. I don't know if Jovic has an accent or not. And then sliding over to help right there. That ended up, if you're wondering why the clip cut off, it did end up in a Celtics make. But I thought Jovic's defense on this possession was nice. And now we have Jovic setting up. Caleb Martin, who drives and attacks. Aye! Foul. Caleb Martin. Have we seen anything like this? Like one guy just owning a team like this. Like just playing so much better against one team than any other team that there is. Speak of the damn devil. Kick out. Tyler Hero. Again, 14 assists for Tyler Hero. And Caleb Martin. Five made threes in this one. Oof. And Bam out of bio. These turnaround jumpers, man. He's one of the best in the league. Centers-wise are doing it. I think, he, actually, he is. Ooh, looking like Bam out of Durant there. D up, Jovic. D up. Chris Stapps for Zingas. I'm already pissed off. Yeah. Good job. Good hands. Then Jovic. This is one of his six assists right here. Get it to the Celtics killer. Get it to that guy. His shot has looked so bad for so long. And then he plays the Celtics and it just, it works. I, you can't make it up. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I really got no clue. Defense leading to offense for the Heat. Drew Holiday had an awful game in this one. And here comes Bam Adebayo. Look out! Bam Adebayo. And then Jovic showing you some of that versatility. Strong attack. Finish right there through contact. Nice work. And then shooting. Despite the closeout by Drew Holiday. We're shooting over that. We got size. We're bigger. We are a, we are a big player, believe it or not. We're 6'10". We're shooting over that. I'm very interested in this kid. Look at this defensive possession, man. I saw some of the smartest people I follow on Twitter discussing this because they couldn't tell if this possession ended in a zone just because of how insane the Heat looked defensively. Look at this. Look at Cato Martin and then the rotations and Bam getting out there to contest that Jalen Brown three and make him airball it. They're, they're very fun to watch. I mean, the Heat defense, it doesn't matter who the hell is out there. I mean, I could be on the, on, on the floor, guys, and I'm not that athletic. I mean, I can throw down monstrous free throw line dunks, but I'm, outside of that, like, you know, I'm just a regular athlete. And damn, Spo would have me playing. I think I'd have a 103 defensive rating if I was on the Heat. Then I mentioned, again, Tyler Hero with 14 assists, four of those coming to Bam Adebayo. This pick and roll was just lethal all night long. Aye! And it's good to see because these two have a great pick and roll connection. I mean, last season, I remember being one of, if not maybe the most effective plays in the entire league. A little floater right there, huh? Bam out of Young. How about DeLon Wright getting in on the action, huh? Mavs legend. I mean, half the league legend. I feel like he's been on so many teams. Beautiful hesitation. Beautiful up fake. Everyone thinks it's a travel. That's not a travel. That's as clean as it gets, buddy. Trust me. That's as clean as it gets. DeLon Wright draining threes on you. You're in for it.
And then here's just a microcosm of the Celtics offense late in the clutch. Where the hell is this going? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, it's going absolutely nowhere. Okay. Yeah, well, this is why people are worried about the Celtics. I still think I'm not going to, you know, overreact to one singular game where a team shot 52% from three. Obviously, the Celtics should still win the series. I'd be surprised if it even goes six, to be 100% honest with you, but you never know. Uh, And I still think they're going to come out the East, but man, maybe swept by the Nuggets. That seems maybe a little bit extreme. And here go the Celtics fans filing towards the exit. Now, I saw people on Twitter shitting on the Celtics for this dude. Okay, the game's over. There's 41 seconds left. There's nothing wrong with leaving now. I, okay, is that is that an unpopular opinion? There's nothing wrong with leaving now. Can I say something? Now, the quality on this is shit for some reason, but the plaid pants that look like pajama pants that are now for some reason in, get them out. They're fucking horrible, all right? Uh, they're terrible. I think they suck, all right? Plaid pants. We don't want them anymore. And you know what's funny about that? We never did. 